Hello and welcome to Dad 101.5 on WFAN. I'm Dominic Vizioli alongside Ashton Jaworski and Desmond McHugh. The three topics we will be talking about today is will the Mets make the playoffs an Antonio Brown helmet situation and who will win the AL Central, the Minnesota Twins or the Cleveland Indians? Okay, so first off, well, if the Mets will make the playoffs, the Mets are coming up against two different um, series against the Phillies and the Cubs. They're also in the wild card run and if they win both of those series, they can probably comfortably make it to the playoffs. Yeah, um, they were on a 14-game winning streak, was, which is amazing. But what do you think, Desmond? It's amazing, but then they I lost know, it. But I know enough about the Mets that they will fuck. They will do bad. Go on like a seven-game losing streak. You know, go right around, win the L, win the L. Well, you know, and, and you know, just keep on going like that for a while. Then peak up when they're way out of contention, get a little into contention, then fall off the cliff and end the season with no playoffs. Okay, we are now opening up the phone line, which and is 215-668-1501. And... Oh, we have a caller. It Come is... On. Austin from Tom's River. Okay, look, why do you guys think that the Mets will win um, the they will make the playoffs? Do you think it's because Peter Longo just broke the rookie home run record? Or like, what is it? Because they're um, relieving pitchers and some of their starters just are really bad this year. Yeah, Peter Longo, for him, the 40 home runs as a rookie was a... Amazing, yeah, but um, he's great. He's great. but they do kind of need more depth and more better, a lot more better players really to back need, them up. But they really need that's to make them look so good because we're, I think they're like five or six years back. Yeah, they're like five or six years back. And they've been on a winning streak, but they, their pitching can't get it done. Yeah, so um, with the bad pitching, um, yeah, no synagogue. They have very much. high scoring games and they're always very close. Like, they'll, they sometimes make it the comeback, but a lot of times they, have, they, they not, get destroyed. They have no synagogue. They ain't Jacob to Grom. They have a very good starting rotation, but they don't have very many relievers. They, they don't have relievers. They don't really have a set closer. Mm. Or they. They, you know, can have their pitcher go in seven innings, not give give up two runs, and then the relievers can come in for two innings, give and up give five up, runs. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay. okay. Now we go on to the to Antonio the Antonio Brown, Brown helmet, helmet situation. situation. Now this is a very hot topic this in the is, NFL right now. It's a mess. Okay. It's a mess. The NFL, why do they have, just because they made better helmets to help with people with concussion, doesn't mean that Antonio Brown cannot wear his helmet. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. It's pretty dumb. You yeah. are absolutely right, Ash. Because if Antonio yeah. Brown wants to wear his helmet and gets a concussion, that's his fault. You don't, that's his fault. it's not like it yeah. was your fault. So it's like, not just like the let NFL's him, fault. Just let him wear his helmet. If he gets a concussion and ends his career, that's fine. You it's not can your wear, fault. If he uses the new helmet and gets a concussion and ends his career, he can sue the NFL. Exactly. Go ahead, A.B. Oh, we have Choose a caller. what you want to do. We have a caller. And we have another caller. Oh, Jack from Del Rin. Uh, uh, hello, you're Jack. On, you're on the radio. Yeah, I call back. Yeah, show him. We're talking about the AB helmet situation right now. What a mess that is. Oh, all right, I was asking, like, did AB, like, be suspended because like, he 
like, should Slayton be them because he doesn't have a helmet? Or should the NFL just get a new one? I don't, just I, let him wear his own helmet. Just yeah. let him wear his own helmet. It's I simple. It's easy. I don't think. I don't think he should wear. I don't think he should be suspended. Go ahead, AB. Do whatever you want. Wear your old helmet. Get a concussion and end your career. Bing, bang, boom. If you if you get a concussion, if you get a concussion with your old helmet, that that that's just it. You get a concussion with their new helmets, you can sue the NFL. And it gets paid as much as you get in a year. So then if you end your career, you can still get a big fat paycheck from suing the NFL. It's easy as that. No, we should. Yeah, we are, but. AB can do whatever he wants to, so. Go ahead, AB. You want to wear your old helmet or buy a new one? Go ahead. Okay. Thanks for calling. Thanks for calling. Bye. Bye. And now. Okay, and now our last topic. Who will win the NA Central? No, the AL Central. AL Central. The Cleveland Twins. The Minnesota Twins or the Cleveland Indians. Before we get to that, let's go to Alex Good for a sports update. Um, we just had breaking news that Sterling Shepard's thumb, and while it was hurt, it's, it is now healing. So he will be ready for week one against the Dallas Cowboys. Do you guys think he, he will play as like his best, or do you guys think he's going to... Like, he could probably easily hurt his thumb again, and then he could easily, be out for the rest of the season. He could easily hurt so his thumb. So I would, and I would just rest him for week one. What? Rest him until his thumb is legit back to 100. Yeah. If it's perfectly 95, fine, where he can move it all around. Where and he everything. can legit. If he says it's fine, just go to a doctor to make sure it's not. If it's if, if a doctor it's says full, it, if it's fully healed, play in week one. If he's not. Then he could break his thumb even more, or whatever happened to him. Yeah. And then he could be out for the rest of the season or more, end his career. And yeah. Are so really bad. Yeah. And now on to our final topic: Who will win the AL, AL Central. Central? Okay, guys, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna try to do the. I'm gonna try to do the best I can here. The Minnesota Twins. Or the, the Cleveland, Cleveland Indians. Okay, thank you. God, you. Okay. Ugh. So I think the Twins might win the AL Central because uh, they were better than the Yankees going into like the first forty games of the season. Don't but you the think Yankees, that? Aaron Judge hasn't done very well, and he's like, pretty much their best player. And he's pretty much been injured the whole year. And the, basically, the Yankees haven't had the star Aaron Judge all year. Yeah. Okay. And I think that the Indians will win because yes, it's a tight race, but yeah. but the Twins. They'll probably come up. back, come down to September. It'll, right now, they're battling. Down. Each yeah. other I'm like two horses twin, neck and neck in the Kentucky the tw- Derby. The twins yeah. started out very hot, and the twins never s- got bad, but they were but they never just kept but, on winning. But now they did not start to drop. They're starting to drop. drop now. And the so, Indians are going up. Yeah. Okay. And that'll wrap up uh, Dad one oh one point five on WFAN. Thank you for listening and Goodbye. And brought to you by Sports Illustrated Kids. The number, the number one, one magazine, magazine in the world. For kids. <laughs> Great job. Guys. And